After I release this video, people and viewers of my channel are surely going to question me if is it really possible to prepare for my entry interview in a very short time and even efficiently if it is possible but trust me it is going to be possible i have friends i have my associates who are working in my entry and they have working strategies whatever they have used during their interview experience and preparation for the interview of my entry and trust me it is going to be useful i am going to associate the preparation strategies of students experiences in their interview and i'm going to make this video a little exhaustive it is going to help you in a very detailed manner and it is going to support you in every aspect possible so why delay let's dive in right into the video Hi everyone, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek and I host this channel. I make various educational content videos on my channel, placements preparation series and masters abroad series. So if you are interested to check out many other such content, just check out on my channel. Do subscribe it and share it with your friends and like the video for a better reach. In the first half of the video today, I am going to explain an interview experience of a student. Roughly from my estimation, students are going to face about 20 to 30 questions in my entry interview and trust me this is not going to be like a gen c interview or a tcs ninja interview where if you write java in your resume they are just going to ask about the oops concepts and that's it see this is not going to be like that here they are going to ask very detailed questions let's see what those questions are going to be but uh, trust me on this point that without proper preparation you could manage the previous other companies i just not mention the companies but you can manage the other companies but my entry is going to be little depth about the concept this is because as per the information i have received most projects are going to be development kind of side this is not much bigger company like cts or cognizant but it is going cognizant or tcs but it is a very big company and they have most development projects you are going to be assigned mostly developer role or developing kind of project so they expect better coding skills from you as a student so try to understand this point as well before going into the preparation let's see a student experience who are faced recently and from that you will understand what depth is that later after analyzing the questions which were asked let's go on to see how to prepare for those kind of questions okay so let's go on to see the interview questions whatever one of my friend is currently working in mindtree whatever he has faced the first one what he was asked was tell me about yourself tell me about yourself is the most common question i have also made a separate video on how to answer for that specific question the link is in the description or on the i button you can just check that out going on to see the next questions i am going to just read out everything whatever he has faced he has faced approximately 25 30 questions in only one interview so you need to understand the depth whatever they are asking in these kind of interviews the first questions the questions he has faced is going to be uh, do you have any internships and certifications what is the programming language you prefer what are the difference between errors and exemptions what is the difference between interface and abstract what is the difference between reverse string and how are you going to store an elements in an array using the reverse string or various kind of operations so what is the difference between local variable and global variable how to remove spaces if you are given a string how to remove spaces and what is the difference between equals method and that is equals closed and open parenthesis and other operator that is equal to equal to operator what is the difference between these both and why do we use implement keyword specifically in a interface and after that what is the for code reusability do, what, and want to use data for one class to another which programming model will you approach so they were asked about uh, we can see the question means they are asking about inter inheritance and oops kind of uh, concepts so he has just mentioned java and you can understand the depth of questions what are being asked here so following this he was asked about break and continue statements what is the difference what is the approach and utility so what is java collections uh, i want to store elements but i don't want to duplicate any elements which will we use java collections or java list or java uh, array list or list or set so he was asked that he, the interviewer wants to duplicate store an elements without any duplication in an array and he was asked so which can which preferably he could use in the data structure that is array array list set list etc so you can understand that not just oops concepts they are asking about the data structures and the detailed analysis of data structures as well so going on to see the next questions he was asked about what are constructions and what are types of constructions overloading 
what is a wrapper class what is the difference between wrapper class and normal class difference between throw and throws in exemption handling what is a try catch block can we use multiple try catch blocks in a same program final keyword in java what is finally in exemption handling what is set and map so these are some of the questions which they were asked in, uh, to one of my friend in his interview and what point you need to understand is that not just this he was also asked uh, to code on hands on that uh, same concepts whatever questions i have asked before he was asked to share his screen and type the code in a text file as well so analyzing this complete thing you would have already understood that Uh, the intensity of mind tree is going to be quite difficult i'm not saying it is going to be impossible you can surely crack it now let's go on to see how you can prepare for this specific kind of interviews as per my personal opinions and my personal experiences let's go on to see that so coming on to this specific interviews they are going to ask deep about the coding concepts of whatever you have mentioned so if you have mentioned java they are not just going to ask you about the basic java concepts that are present but instead they are going to ask you how or in depth questions of data structures the algorithms possible how you can implement suitable programs for a specific questions given in the uh, task as well so understanding this you need to come to a point that you need to understand the data structures as well of whatever program you are going to write by this i mean you are uh, at least you are going to understand the syntax of data structures the utility of data structures and how those can be implemented Uh, so that is how you need to prepare the data structures and uh, these kind of algorithms for uh, whatever questions they are going to ask in hands on model as well so hands on model in the sense they are going to ask you to share your screen and type the code spawn spot so it is going to be very difficult if you don't have much practice going on to see other questions uh, what you can do for these kind of topics is that just go on to internet and just type in google java if you have selected java type in google java concepts interview concepts or interview questions whatever is there so whatever topics are there there are lots of concepts like in interfa- uh, interference or uh, instances uh, uh, inheritance polymorphism and how to implement those inside this there are various concepts like just now we have seen constructors and wrapper class arrays how to implement these kind of arrays etc so first the first step is going to be prepare basics of java and try to write down the basic codes of java okay keep that aside going on to see the next one you are going to prepare the interview questions of whatever are present on the google so that you understand the basic concepts and the most basic questions of the interview that is 30 40% is going to be from these basic questions so going on to see the other 60% the difficult code of difficult mode of questions how you can do in that 60% some questions are going to be coding questions they are going to ask how you are going to code this specific uh, problem statement what they have given for this specific um, kind of questions you can just go on to hacker rank i have done the same during my interviews and everybody does the same go to hacker rank go select the language whatever you have done and try to solve questions etc it is going to be helpful and uh, if you have solved questions in hacker rank uh, a couple of questions for a few days that is going to be far more than enough you can understand the data structures the problem statements the problem answering etc and try to solve questions related to data structure specifically of whatever language you have chosen instead of just basic questions so this is how you can answer the 30 percentage of 60 percent so remaining questions are going to be in depth questions of language so we are going to prepare for basic questions by searching in google uh, we are going to prepare about in depth coding questions by practicing on hacker rank uh, you are just going to spend 4 to 5 days it is going to be helpful don't try to worry about the time period you need to invest on this so going on to see the next one the harder questions are the in depth concepts what you can do for this first whatever codes you have written previously i have told you to keep it aside just bring it out now read the code and try to understand each and every line each and every line of whatever code you have written so here it is going to cover everything for example in c++ we are going to have something called as hash include etc and we call that as pre processor directories so you need to understand what is hash include whatever line you have written in your code try to understand what is the name of that what is the description behind that the definitions etc and where are those applied so in this way if you read one by one one by one uh, the concepts whatever you have learned before you, you are going to have a strong foundation you are going to have better advanced skills as well and i am going to make many such videos of mind tree experiences so you will have a question bank kind of thing of mind tree questions whatever students have faced Uh, you are just going to have those as well on my channel soon so going on to see other kind of questions 
we have seen how to answer the coding questions how to prepare for those in three to four days but in some cases what happens if you are a core student if you are an electronic students like me like ec mechanical civils etc those students are also going to face some core core kind of questions whatever they have studied mostly from first and second year topics for example if i am an electronic students if you are an electronic students you would understand the situations where we are asked about diode resistor capacitor their operations etc and these kind of questions are common even if the interviewer is not from your background he would have a set of questions what are intended to be asked to you such kind of questions uh, students as you so you are going to face those kind of questions so try to prepare basic concepts of whatever branch you are from if you are an electronic student try to prepare fundamentals of electronics and basic communications like what is sampling uh, fft these kind of topics this is going to be very useful they are surely going to ask one or two questions and unfortunately consider unfortunate situation where the interviewer is also from ece the questions might increase right so understanding this situation as well try to prepare even the ece concepts that is worst case scenario uh, they might not ask you as well but still i prefer you i suggest you guys to prepare ece core concepts as well uh, focus mainly on the cs kind of topics i have mentioned and the preparations of whatever you should do so that's it guys thank you so much so one point i need to mention is that the interviews or preparation strategies might depend from student to student this is my personal suggestion and if you like you do follow or change it accordingly you can just understand what kind of questions are being asked that i have mentioned in the first part of the video thank you so much for staying out so long this is vivek signing off stay safe stay informative bye bye so if you are not satisfied with the video or you are expecting a much detailed interview experiences you can just comment it below and i will surely try to make different videos about the student interview experiences of mindtree and how to preferably answer them at the interview for better chances of selection thank you